Seven to nine year olds, intellectual stage of development. They are extremely bright, but they typically have a hard time concentrating during distractions. So they're going to lose focus if things are more interesting in class. So if you have your seven and up with the older kids, you're going to have the ones who act aloof, who, aren't, who, who just lose, lose interest in class. You're going to have them lose focus on things that are over their head, like timing and spinning and things like that. And for, forget simple commands, mainly because they're overthink. So you ever have that seven, eight, or nine-year-old who's got to get ready for testing? He doesn't quite have his form yet. So you bring him into a private lesson and you work with him on his form and you work on that form and you work on that form and you work on the form and he gets it. And you're like, yes, Juan, you are ready to test. And testing day comes out there and there you are all excited to watch Johnny do his form. And you say, okay, go. And he gets the first few moves. And you're like, he's got this, he's got this. And then he freezes. And you're like, dude, you know this. It's a punch and a kick. Come on, why are you messing up? Raise your hand if you had that happen. So he could do it in a private lesson setting, but his concentration skills are not there yet. So the downstairs part of his brain, which is more primitive and reactive, and the upstairs part of his brain are biting each other. Because he's sitting there going, my instructor's watching me, my parents are watching me, my peers are watching me, what are they thinking? What's the next move? Oh my God, right? So they're, over, they're thinking about too many things and their brain can't handle all the pressure. So that's very important to understand that that's their intellectual stage of development so that if and when it does happen, and it will happen, parent goes, Hunter doesn't deserve his next belt because he didn't do his form. You could say, no, that's part of his, his stage of development. We know he could do his form in a private setting. What we'll do is we'll do a makeup testing, something like that. It's retroactive for his growth and development. If you say, you didn't do your format testing, you can't earn your next belt. You'll lose more students that way. The argument that instructors have is, I, some students can. But what does that mean about those students who can? It means that they're above their intellectual stage of development for being able to concentrate on multiple tasks at one time under that amount of pressure. So that when you do have those seven, eight, and nine-year-olds, and you will have a lot of them, the majority of your seven, and eight, and nine-year-olds should be able to do their form at testing because that's what martial arts does. Because we target their intellectual stage of development and we help them take it to the next level. That is the value of our program. And explaining that to parents, listen, the average seven-year-old cannot come in here and do that in front of everybody. This is something that our martial arts program has helped them develop, which puts them at an edge compared to other kids. But the ones who can't empathetically understand that the reason why they're not is because they're not smart or they weren't prepared, especially if they took private lessons with you. If they did their form in private lessons with you and came to a couple of lessons and then froze at testing, I think it's more retroactive for you to hold them back because they put in the work. It wasn't like they weren't prepared. It's just that their stage of development, the concentration, the pressure got the best of them. Does that make sense to you guys? You'll save a lot of students that way. And when parents argue with you or disagree with you, you can explain to them, it's not like he didn't put in the work. We understand this is a stage of development. We're going to move forward from here.